Hey guys, your objective for this video is just a brief discussion of something called the live load reduction factor, psi subscript A, okay? So, in a structure, say like this one here, an office, an office building, okay? We have some desks, it might be a kitchen, something like this, a typical floor plan, okay? Not every spot has loading on it in terms of live loading, right? There's a table there, but there's nothing else filling this room. There's a table there and some chairs, but there's nothing else filling the rest of the room, okay? So what we can do is, is we can reduce the live load as the probability of supporting fully crowded area is low, right? So all this is saying is that because not every spot is actually gonna be loaded with say a three KPA live load, we can artificially reduce this live load. So this is seen in section 3.4.2. So this is 3.4.2. Um, this is in, of course, AS1170.1. Now, we are on page 12, and it says here that the reduction factor psi A shall be as follows. Okay, we have a formula down here. 0 0.3 plus 3 on root A. Not greater than 1 and not less than 0.5, where A is the sum of all the areas supported by a structural element in square meters. All right? So you can read through here some of the exceptions to this rule, but just generally speaking, psi A is 0.3 plus 3 on root A, okay? Where psi A cannot be between 0.5 and 1. So let's just see this in action, for example. Back to our problem we had before. The area of our slab would be 0.6 by 1.2 meters, okay? 0.6 by 1.2 meters gives us 0.72 meters squared. Working out this reduction would be psi A equals 0.3 plus 3, on the square root of 0.72. So three divide square root of 0.72 plus 0.3 gives us 3.83, okay? Now 3.83 is greater than one, okay? So that means that psi A equals one, which means that the live load cannot be reduced in this case. So in this case,